Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I got the uh, Racer Star uh, 20 amp 4 in 1 ESC, uh, the V2, and uh, we're going to be looking at how to trace down the uh, filter caps to enable you to run DSHOT 600. And uh, before we get started, let me just show you what it comes with. Uh, it comes with 6 pin to 6 pin uh, JST 1.25 connectors, uh, silicone, which is very good. Um, comes with another one, uh, silicone also. It's a JST 6-pin uh, to a servo type connector. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, it comes with your uh, M3 nylon spacers in the manual, of course. Now, uh, I've already gone ahead and removed the uh, heat shrink wrapping, so uh, let's put it under the microscope and uh, get started. Uh, before we get started, I um, just want you to know that uh, we're going to be looking at the side that is opposite of the uh, JST connector. So we're going to be looking at this. And uh, usually for some reason, all the little chips with the white dots are the BB2 chips. So, I mean, that makes it a little bit easier for you. And I also notice this right here. Um, seems like a very bad solder job right there. You see it's how it's coming down sideways. I'm going to have to fix that also. So, uh, <clears throat> let's put it under the microscope now and uh, trace down those filters. Uh, before we put it under the microscope, because I just did that right now, and um, it's going to be very difficult to tell the orientation where I am. So, uh, what I'm, I'm just going to give you a basic idea. Uh, these are the BB2 chips. Okay, one, two, three, four. And um, the capacitors, the, the, the filter cap, the filter caps for the input signal on each of these are actually all located in this area right there so we have this one this one this one and this one and um, I will be in the microscope view in this area right now okay so uh, you guys can see which ones and what colors are they and um, <clears throat> There's a little something you need to take note of. I will show you about the BB2 chips on the pin counting. Because on the corner, there's these little pads, but sometimes the solder pops out. And you could actually mistake that for five pins and uh, possibly trace it to the wrong uh, capacitor or something. So always, I'll show you under the microscope here. You'll see right now. Okay, uh, let me first show you that pin uh, pad, thinking that you could probably mistake it for a pin uh, before I show you the area I told you about earlier. Um, this is a perfect example right here. Okay. So here is the B right there, and then B2. And here's a little dot that says the pin count starts from here. Okay. Now on the data sheet, it will tell you pin 5. But pin 5 is actually pin 4 in counting because the pads are also counted. See, there's there's a pad inside here, under here. And you see how the uh, solder pops out right there? Okay, th th that's not really a pin, it's a pad, but it's just a solder pops out. And also here, same thing. So whatever is on the corner corner, don't count it. And you, you could easily mistake it. So basically, we're going to start from here. One, two, three, four this one right here is the pin we want and on the data sheet it'll tell you pin 5 and then it'll be the rx uart 0 i think um so this is the pin and uh, sometimes this will be on this side sometimes this will be here and it might seem like you have six pins here or five but you actually don't you actually have four pins popping out so just go in the middle you know it's, it's pretty obvious. Whatever's on the corner, don't count it. So this is the pin you would always have to trace. It's usually above the two, kind of between the two and the one, if you have the writings available. Um, and that's it. Now let's just move to the area of uh, the capacitors that I've traced. All right. And uh, now we're in the area of where the uh, filter capacitors that need to be removed are. Uh, there's four. Uh, since there's four ESCs built into this and they're all basically in one area on this board and uh, let me show you which ones are they you have this one this is one of them this one that's two this one that's three and this one that's four 
So uh, these four need to be removed. Now I, I don't recommend doing it with a soldering iron unless you're a professional. Um, I really do recommend doing this with hot air, um, which is the way I'm planning on doing it. Um, and uh, once I officially decide to do it, I'm probably going to make a tutorial on how I did it and show you guys how to do it correctly. Um, and uh, this is basically it for, for this ESC. And uh, let's go back to overview mode. And or at least that's what I'm going to call it, overview mode. So you guys know exactly where this area is again, so you guys don't get lost. So just take a note of this big capacitor right here. All right, guys, now we're back in overview mode. And uh, the area I was showing you... Um, <clears throat> In the microscope is actually uh, this area right here right there and uh, let it focus all right so it was this area right there right here this area and this this is pin this is one of the uh, filter caps right there and then you got this one and then you have this one and then you have this one. Those four need to be removed. And uh, take note of the orientation. And uh, this was the big filter of the capacitor that we were seeing in the microscope. And uh, you see how I have the uh, positive and negative terminals pads uh, on the right side while I'm looking at this. So you guys, uh, well, you guys know exactly where the orientation is and not removing anything by mistake. And uh, that actually concludes it for this video. And I um, uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any requests, uh, just put them down in the comments. And uh, I will do my best to do them. All right. Happy flying. See you guys.